We're live. This is Tio and Arcane Barrett. We're going to dive into something exciting today. The G20 has just come out with recommendations on what they think these top level countries should be doing about their crypto regulations, their laws, and where they expect to see. So if we just dive inside here really quick, I'm going to read an article to you from Cointelegraph. So I'm going to start doing little news updates like this more often from my phone. Uh, we're going to be busy, so this is the easiest way for me to do this. Just as a heads up for all of you that are Bear family members, um, I will still be doing the vlogs. Um, I'm going to update the one about Venezuela later this afternoon, but I thought this was important to note. It says, cryptocurrencies will continue to receive a broadly hands-off approach from the G20 at least until October. The meeting confirmed on July 21st and 22nd. It says, the summary of the interim decisions made by the dedicated finance ministers and the central bank governors, as FATF um, group sees any hard and fast regulatory steps regarding crypto assets to remain absent. The results follow a four-month consultation period with FATFA enacted during a previous gathering in March. And at the time, the represent representative said that they were obliged to create what they called very specific recommendations for how to approach the cryptocurrency sphere at an international level. In the interview, intervening months, however, though it appears that the position has considerably been soft-ended. So we at FAT uh, clarify in October that how the standards to apply crypto assets in the summary request. It says... In brief, these comments about the general mood towards cryptocurrency, the G20 adopts a similarly balanced view, stating that the technology contains both benefits and risks. Technology innovations, including those underlying crypto assets, can deliver significant benefit to the financial system and the broader economy. The document continues in its quote and says, Crypto assets do, however, raise issues with respect to consumer and investor protection, market integrity, tax invasion, money laundering, and terrorist financing. Such vocabulary echoes the angle that emerged from the G20 activities throughout the year and also represents a more recent comments from the constituent par participants of the European Union. Earlier this month, a French government report under the finance minister Bruno Le Marie, who had publicly called for the G20 to debate cryptocurrency, likewise recommended avoiding direct regulation. So what's your guys' thoughts? What does this new G20 coming out soft-handed mean for the markets? Are we looking for that August ETF date? Is this in general the space saying, hey guys, before we do anything that really disrupts a market that could be extremely valuable to our countries, let's wait and see what happens. And I think that's smart. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. Is the G20 a good idea? Uh, if you're new to the Bear family and you like this content, remember to give us those thumbs up or smash that like button as they say in 2018. Remember to remember to subscribe if you're new to the Bear family as well. And when you hit that little notifications thing, you have to say, you actually have to click down and hit notify all the time. I don't even know why that's an option YouTube. That's just ridiculous. Anyways, as far as ridiculous things go, this is Tio and the Arcane Bear. This is not investment advice in any way, shape or form. We'll see you guys on the side.